Got one of these old Kenmore's in made by Whirlpool and it wasn't defrosting properly. So instead of having a timer, an old $20 timer, it has your adaptive defrost board. Um, I'm sure people have seen how to put these things into force defrost, but we gonna do it anyway. So, with it cold, unplug it for 30 seconds. So, 30 seconds. Turn it to the off position, then plug it back in. You'll hear the click. Then the heater should come on. Ooh, you see the red in there? That's the heater. Ooh, it's sizzling. Sizzle, baby. Because the defrost terminator needs to be making contact. So, that's it. Easy peasy. That's how you check the defrost. The original ones of these are outrageous, like 200 something dollars, but you can get an aftermarket. And uh, they are much cheaper. And they have a good warranty too. So, ain't nobody gonna put $300 worth of parts in this old thing. So, use the aftermarket. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you've ever worked on one like this. Thanks. Oh man, it feels so good. Yep, heater's on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, you can feel the heat in there.